welcome to Time to Replay, Rediscuss, Kung Fu Kid for the Sega Master System. Time to beat this game. Alright, I'm going to pwn this level this time. I'm getting tired of these green monsters and these little Lego men shooting their arms at me. What the heck? I think I got a different talisman this time, like fire talisman. Let's see here. Jeez, what the heck was that? I was being attacked the whole time. I didn't realize it. Jeez, man. Those green monsters don't play. They're going to die this time. I had enough of this right here. Oh, pwn. Nice. Oh, I get some more. I got 21 now. And I got 20. Man, that's what I'm talking about. This is probably the best way to get through this freaking level. Just keep spamming the talisman. And I know I'm going to run out, but I mean, man, this is... It gets real, I mean, not real difficult, but it does get pretty challenging right here. Ah, oh, yes, I get some more. I guess we're challenging right here when you're trying to jump over the green monsters and the Lego men. I know I don't know the actual names of these enemies. I just call them whatever the heck I want because <laughs> that's what they look like to me. Ah, oh, come on. You got stage three music here now. I think I said this in part one. I love the design of the stage. All these yellow bars. Now this level really raises the bar in the challenge right here. Let's see. Oh, dang, I just now noticed that. Forget it. I'm on a roll here. I don't feel like going back. Uh, I could have collected some more talisman. Not the thunder, little thunder, lightning sound effect, whatever it is, when you kill him. I got three more. Sam is tearing through this level with all the, all the talisman. Oh, nice! I have one more left. Now I got five. I shouldn't be spamming that much. I could have jumped over those guys easily. It's when those Lego men show up where it gets frustrating. It gets a little tricky. Now I'm out. All right, now I got no choice but to run and jump. Oh, look at, oh, see, come on. All right, close to the boss here. Ha <laughs> ha, you're stuck, you can't get me. Ah, idiot, this way, all right. Ah, green monster's back. Here we go. Here's the boss. Oh, it looks like one of those green monsters, but oh, it's blue this time. This is a little tricky. What the heck? I'm hitting it. I'm hitting the... What am I doing wrong here? I, wow, I completely failed right there. Jeez. Oh, yeah. You got to sweep kick him. I forgot. You got to sweep kick him. Ah, man. Now I got to get through this level again without the talisman. Great. Here we go again. Oh man, I went, oh, I went through the whole level for nothing. No talisman this time. Jeez. Oh, nice. Ah, barely missed the monster. Yeah, when those things show up right there is where it gets a little hard. Ah, cool, I like how it jumps, jumped off the wall right there. Double jump off the wall. All right. Oh, oh, nice. Ah, yeah, you better get down. Ah, I missed him. Ah! I think they got shot the wrong way, idiot. Why can't you hit the enemies? I wish the enemies could attack each other by accident and to where if they shoot each other or hit each other, it counts as damage, but of course not. Alright, there we go. 
Ha, <laughs> that is stuck. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh. Oh, All right, nice. Boss time again. I love that background design right there. That looks so cool. All right, here we go. Yes, yeah, sweet kid. That's what I thought. And it gets tricky. Oh, come on. Here we go. Ah! Got hit. Oh, come on, man! There we go. Oh, shoot. That's right. Now it's just his head. Ah, oh, come on. Just like me cough a snake's head in real life, it could still last for another 30 minutes. And, but not this time. Ha <laughs> ha. Didn't even last 30 seconds with me. All right, finally, stage five clear. All right, round six. This is a gauntlet right here. There's five parts of round six. Here's the first opponent, Sloth. Watch out. Hey, you guys, I'm about to beat Rockboy here. No, you're not. Pretty easy battle right here. I see he tr uses his mallet or whatever it is. Yeah, that's round one. Round 6-1. Round 6-2 is next. And, of course, duh, 6-2. But there's, again, there's uh, five, five rounds here in round 6. If that makes sense. You, you know what I'm talking about. So this should be round 6-2. This confused me when I was a kid. I'm like, what the heck? So you fought the Chun-Li twins. Or the twins from Streets of Rage 3. Or whatever it is, alright, so you got a time jumps right here as they jump. You get the pattern down soon enough. There we go. I think I got it down now if I remember correctly. Yeah. Alright, so one of them is out. Just like I fought the twins in stage four. Gotta fight these twins now here around six two. Nice. Alright. Now on to round six three. This is where it gets really challenging. All right, now, now this guy, I don't know what the heck this is. Some sort of samurai warrior it looks like. Oh, watch out. And I'm, I'm trying to remember the pattern right here. Oh, man, I'm just getting, I just got hacked. I just got sliced up. I just got hacked and slashed right there. All right, one more life until it's game over. Oh, man. Ah, right, what? Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. that that's, that's BS. You gotta start over, because you remember in each round, you start all the way over, there's one halfway point, and I said that's probably because the levels are short. But this is different, this is like a gauntlet here, man. This ain't fair. So you gotta start all the way over. So if you lose at the fifth enemy, you gotta, you gotta go all the way back to the first enemy here in stage six. Now that is BS. Fight the Chun-Li twins again. Oh, we got each other out there. Ah, oh, dang, we got each other again. Ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, cheap shot. Nice. And pwned. I guess you can't collect talisman in this level. Be too easy. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can beat this guy this time. Jeez. What? Man. Whoa. Ah, I keep jumping to that knife, that sword. Oh, there we go. I think I got came from behind. Oh, well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember the pattern here. Oh, one more hit and I got him. Nice. All right, let me see. Oh, I got an extra life. Nice. 
Let me see if I remember. I can't remember who the fourth opponent is. Ah. Oh. Okay, I think I remember her. Whoa. She's doing hurricane kicks now. She's throwing her knives at me. Come on now. All right, almost got her. Come on. Nice. Yes, got her. Come on, I think if they throw weapons at me, I should be able to throw a talisman at them. Alright, the final round. Whoa! Tung Furu? Okay, I think I remember this. And also, yeah, you pretty much... You don't start off in full energy in the next round. That's lame. It's a freaking gauntlet. Yeah, I think I remember the pattern now. Ah! I thought I did. Ah, oh, jeez! Come on now, don't get hit again. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, two more hits. Ah, oh, come on now, man! Gotta start all over! It's ridiculous! Here I am, back to fighting Sloth again. It's freaking cheap! He did a different move all of a sudden and got me. Jeez, man. Okay, as I defeated Andre the Giant and Sloth's low child, let me get to round two here to go through this whole gauntlet again. Jeez, man. Oh, nice. One more hit. And boom. Boom. Oh, this guy again. Jeez, this is going to be fun. I think this one, this third enemy in this round is harder than the fourth enemy. Looks like a zombie samurai or something. I'm not sure what he is. Jeez. Ah, what? Ah, there we go. All right. Let's defeat this geisha warrior here. Oh, she got moved the spin kick or the cyclone kick or whatever. All right, I got her. Nice. All right. Hopefully, I can defeat Tung Fu Ru this time. All right. 
even though he fights like he's from the 50s. Like, you want to tussle with that fighting stance, just like the VOD villains here. It's a good thing he's not really Kung Fu Roo, so they won't hulk up when he's losing. Yeah, so I'm not the only one in this game that can jump off walls. Jeez. Oh, Oh, got him. Nice. Come on. Come on. You got him. Yes. ECW. Yes. Now on to the final round. Final round. Fight. All right. So we're about to face Mondanda here. Love this level. Cloudy. Lightning. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so now you got the purple grasshoppers and the green monsters. Oh, nice talisman. There you go. So just run and jump, run and jump until you get to the boss. Ah, fail. Come on now, Ronnie. Ha, <laughs> he can't get past the green monster. Oh, ECW. purple ones to catch up to you though, unlike the green ones. Alright, get out of here so I can fight the final boss. And there he is, Madonna, looking like a freaking magician. Well, I guess he is, I guess he has magic power. Let me see how I can, if I can beat this one, man, it's been a long time. Jeez, man, he's fast. I'm trying to hit him with the talisman, even though I doubt it'll work. Oh, I got him, come on. Oh, oh I think I got him with the talisman. Come on, you can get him. Come on. Oh, nice. Wow, I did get him. Man, I haven't played this in a long time and I beat him. Nice. I haven't got to this boss probably 20 years. Wow. What? Why is he going to heaven? He's a bad guy. It's a beautiful day. Cause good as triumph. <laughs> well, it could have been a better ending, but when I was a kid, that was awesome because I beat the game. And yeah, so that's the end of Kung Fu Kid for Sega Master System. Um, again, they could have done better with the game. I mean, the freaking game. They could have done better with the ending, but at least they had an ending. But yeah, I mean, this is a game that I definitely beat when I was a kid without cheating. And yeah, so Kung Fu Kid for the Sega Master System. I did have some fun with this game when I was a kid. No pun intended. Kung Fu Kid when I was a kid. Anyway, yeah. Um, for the longest time, though, before I found this game again in 2003 I thought it was called Karate Kid and I always thought that's a coincidence Karate Kid the movie then Karate Kid for Sega Master System but then I found out no it was actually called Kung Fu Kid so I got the names mixed up but yeah I mean this game pretty uh, decent soundtrack a decent challenge um, I noticed you can't, you, can't, yeah, you can't punch in this game uh, it's kind of weird but um, this game is 10 times better than some of the other fighting games I played on the Master System, like Black Belt, My Hero. Oh, man. This game is definitely better than those two. Um, Not better than Shinobi, though, for Master System. You might think, well, duh. Um, but as far as, like, just straight up, uh, where you don't really use weapons well, other than the Talisman in Kung Fu Kid. Um, Kung Fu Kid is not that bad of a game. I really enjoyed this game back in the day. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a game that didn't age well, and it's not one of my top favorites of all time, but for the time, though, I played it in, like, the late 80s, I think it was. Man, it was so fun to play back in the day. So, yeah, and I wanted to finish this game as well as part of my unfinished LP series, my Time to Replay series. And, yeah, so this game was fun to do all over again. I'm glad to get through the whole game. And glad to get through it without cheating. 
And so, yeah, I give this game to this day. Um, if I take off my nostalgia glasses, and uh, to be fair, I mean, this game is probably a 6.5 or 7 out of 10. Mediocre, but not bad. Uh, for nostalgia reasons, though, as far as what it means to me personally, I would have to give it maybe an 8 out of 10. Yeah, so this game is decent. And again, if you've seen my Black Belt and My Hero videos, geez, compare those two games with this one. This game is 10 times better. All right, so thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.